Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. The crypto whales are up to something peculiar, since not only are exchanges shifting to cold storages, but now we know what they knew all along. A few days ago, there were large Bitcoin movements through five consecutive BNews withdrawals, totaling about 6,000 Bitcoin and the transfer of $150 million in just one minute. What exactly does this mean? Any idea what this means? Look at this. Possibly the whales have abandoned Nance. Let it stand, don't bother verifying. Try that and see what happens. I mean, it makes sense that exchanges would help market manipulators cash out at the expense of honest traders. And so, is it possible that this is the case? Something seems off to me. I mean, seriously, why are so many whales suddenly disappearing? To two mysterious wallets like, say, cold surges happening instantly after these trades? Perhaps they are bracing for the impending bull run or, more literally, the implosion of an exchange. Gods, it's either, slash or, isn't it? My friend told me that Robin Hood was cutting off people's ridiculous deposits and margin today, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. A few days ago, you were right. They expect retailers to be caught off guard by whatever is coming. Right? These markets presumably want retailers to be unable to escape the chaos when it breaks out, right? I can't say. But it seems like maybe something is up, people. Let's simply leave the door open to the possibility that September will bring us a black swan. As a direct result of Charles Schwab. And then I thought I heard something about Binance being involved. Who knows, right guys? But today there's a lot to cover, and you'll see why scams put us squarely in the Wild West. Breaking for some reason, Pepe thinks the project's original creators stole 16 trillion tokens. I mean, what? Is there going to be another fatality around here? Right? It looks like it really crashed or poured down here, right? Doesn't this look like Pepe's or the meme token? The market valuation of $350 million is simply unbelievable. Exactly what are these meme tokens, right and S coins, signify? Reaching these ludicrous levels of market capitalization? Well, there are legitimate ventures out there with a market cap that is much smaller. Right? Let's deliberate on this. Even the other people who helped start the project have been stealing tokens. Just like we tell the dudes, right? Literally, that's what we say. It's the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. Since many people will lose money, it's not really funny. In fact, they already have. We also realize that the meme coins and S coins must be destroyed. Why? For the obvious reason that everything is a sham, including the early Pepe whale sales of 1 trillion tokens. It would appear that people are abandoning this meme token in favor of Ethereum and other liquid assets at this same moment. This is the spot where everything went down, folks. Now let's take a look at the backstory of this mess. Right. The $60 million Pepe multi-SIG withdrawal is being blamed on disgruntled members of the Pepe coin team. Right. In a message to the Pepe forum, the lone remaining member was allegedly given complete management of the initiative after allegations that three former members stole money from it. Amazing, right? What was it that we were talking about previously, folks, but no one seems interested in hearing about it? This is simply our opinion, or at least mine, so if no one listens, that's great. Right? And there really aren't that many options, but that's what we've been saying from the start. That 9.9%, or at least 10%, of these coins will vanish as the Grim Reaper consumes the melting pot. This has been stated explicitly by Brake many years ago. Right? It was a prediction he made. In 2018, he made that statement. Listen, fellas. This seems to explain the events behind the $16 million that was suddenly removed from the Pepe Project's multi-SIG wallets. You can make up all this nonsense about their own members or team members, with the blame pointed at three disloyal ex-members. This is completely insane, right? 
So, what's the plan? Like we said earlier, is there actually a hacker that hacked into that project or coin when it normally gets clinical hacked guys? They wouldn't be functioning as Dan team members, right? Despite a 15% drop in value on August 24 due to community fears of a rock pool, $16 million worth of Pepe was transferred from the Pepe multi-SIG wallet to other exchanges. Wow. This is completely insane, right? As of today, August 25th, the confusion is over. In a recent X post, one of the project's mysterious creators made a public proclamation on behalf of the project's official public when accounts outlining the events of the day. The statement implies that three members of the team took the multi-sig funds and then abandoned the project, leaving the remaining member in full control of the situation. Right. The multi-SIG was designed to need three out of four signers present, but most of them run away so it looks like there's only one member left. To be present for a sanction. Behind my back, these three X team members logged into the multi-set yesterday and stole 16 trillion, or 60% of the 26 trillion multi-sig tokens, before transferring them to exchanges to be sold. Wow. That means, gentlemen, that this coin was the target of an inside job. Financially, I can't tell you guys why anyone would put money into this coin at the moment. Right? So, you're curious as to why, right? As a result of their insane pregame hype. Right? Retailers that didn't know better duped naive customers into buying this coin, right? How can they expect investors in comparable ventures to trust them when members of their own team are literally defrauding them? 16 trillion tokens, or 60% of the total. They abandoned the project and its three former members just stole the music. And sent it to a seller on particular trading platforms. Start of quote, they try to distance themselves from Pepe by leaving the multi-SIG, removing all their social media profiles, and leaving me with nothing except a message saying the multi-SIG has been updated. Wow, you get to do all the quoting and editing now. Right? It's a complete setup, guys. I mean, this whole situation is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. This is too unbelievable to be true. When they sold the 16 trillion tokens, surely they swapped them out or redrew the corresponding amounts. It was removed to the tune of 50, or nearly 50 million dollar US. Nance KuCoin and Bybit were used in the transmission to Oak X. Right? To increase its market value, that's why. Right? And now, for the multi-SIG Gnosis, with tokens and possibly only one remaining sign. Right. Wow. I mean, you guys have to know what's going on in this neighborhood, right? This is the oddest thing I've ever heard of, and it involves members of their own squad. We tried to warn you, but unfortunately, most individuals prefer not to listen. Right. Wow. Now that the bad apples have been removed, the good guys on the team say they will finally be able to do what needs to be done for the Pepe community. They appear to be making efforts to expand the community, but whether or not they succeed remains a mystery to me. You do realize this is a form of treachery, don't you? Betrayal is the worst possible action taken by the mole men. Good game, or GG, means the end of the community's faith in the project when its participants betray that faith. Right? In addition to my personal opinion, I think that. Do you recall the SEC's crackdown on Ripple and XRP? Right? To give in to the community's charms was not a betrayal on Ripple's part. Right? If Ripple had engaged in questionable activity, abandoned the XRP community, and so on, it would have been disastrous for the people. However, can't you see how XRP is superior to this S? Coin and meme coin? I mean, come on, you all see the big difference. Every bit of that is accurate. I guess it all comes down to trust in the end, especially with all the stories flying around. Sam Beckman, founder of FTX, released his inner Pepe, this is, what? Right? This is too unbelievable to be true. This is ridiculous on so many levels, because Sandvik is out there, causing havoc. 
This man, it is said, mints every single brand new coin in existence. Why? You guys should be on your guard. It's likely that the same mind behind Pepe is also responsible for other cryptocurrencies, like the bold Pepe accounts. Since Sammy was released from jail on August 11th, it hasn't tweeted. Also, on August 11th. I mean, what? Wait, the Pepe official Twitter accounts haven't tweeted since August 11th. Right. On Friday, August 16, 2003, a federal judge correctly sentenced Sam Baker Fried, the creator of the defunct Bitcoin exchange FTX, to prison. Wow. Is this evidence, or just conjecture? Okay, men? Where the hell is Gary Gensler going after legitimate projects while all these scams are running loose like never before? This year alone, for example, we witnessed the meteoric rise of the pet base stock from zero to a market cap of $1 billion in under four weeks. You just can't make this stuff up. During the weekend, the market worth of a coin dedicated to hamster racing soared from zero to $30 million. A coin with a Harry Potter, Obama, and Sonic 10 new hit 10 million in market cap recently, and its ticker is Bitcoin. As a pre-sale of a meme coin, $7 million worth of Ethereum was allegedly sent to the wallets of a well-known scammer. It's the weirdest thing guys, what's even occurring, and testing the hashes to the top, to name a few off the top of my head, a meme coin was about a Bolt founder to a key point about whether both founders to 80 million market cap write in 24 hours on a new L2 layer 2, which was a coin basis, right? Is this loony accurate that there's a ton of gambling and a slew of scams? This is why we need a nuclear winter, right guys? You absolutely need a method, pal. Just crazy. I guess I was wrong about Pepe being the next Bitcoin. A lot of people, then, must have believed that Pepe will eventually replace Bitcoin, right? So this is what occurs when a bunch of people start pumping really hard, right? People believe that NFT could substitute for priceless artwork like the Mona Lisa. Bitcoin is an ex-Pepe rug pulled by the tether hoax, and you have it on backwards. They've been lying about the reserves all along, and now everyone knows it. Bitcoin or Schiller jail for failing to appear in court for a hex Richard Hart. Related offense, is Bitcoin the next Pepe? Is a legitimate question. You can't make this stuff up, and people are actually facing jail time in court, so who knew? Right. Guys, things are picking up speed. Let us, then, use extreme caution, right? One more time, in the end, absolutely everything will be wiped out. Non-financially, after what I've seen at the Brad Garland home, I'm convinced that God still exists and is in charge. The coins available. What do you mean they're just tearing through? Theft of other people's money. And new X currencies and moon coins continue to attract investors. It's the strangest thing ever, right guys? In all likelihood, yes. Common people just want to get rich fast. That, however, might be the case. I can't say. You'll need to come to your own conclusion. Now. It would appear that there is currently a crackdown taking place with these scams and whatnot, which is good to clean up the space and things like that, but the real cleanup will take place during the dam collapse, as evidenced by the recent arrests of 458 people in Hong Kong in connection with $60 million in related crypto scams the fallacy of procedural concern wheelchair. That's just what I think and believe. But hey, you never know, right guys? Just take a look at what happened in the last market downturn. FCX Celsius, Terra Luna, and so on were all wiped away, and the next big one will be the worst of them all. This chaos will likely not end anytime soon, but it was fierce. We'll see you over there. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you soon, bye.